Michael is in Colorado. Hey, Michael, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave, thank you so much for taking my phone call. Sure, what's up? Hey, um, I am 28 years old, and uh, my company, I work for a coal-fired power plant. My company just announced the other day that um, by 2030, uh, our plant will be down. And so within 10 years, um, I'll be looking for a new job. Um, I just became debt free. Good. And uh, thank you. Um, my question to you is I was starting to uh, invest and I was starting to save for a house. Mm-hmm. Um, since I won't be in this uh, town in 10 years, I'm not saving for a house. My question is um, I make a good amount of money where I'm at. Mm-hmm. And I was wanting to know should I max out my Roth 401k and my Roth IRA? for the next 10 years um, instead of uh, saving for a house. What do you make? Um, my base salary is 73 grand, but I've made a hundred grand the last uh, so many years. What do you do? With over, uh, I am a uh, scrubber operator. I uh, make sure that we put a uh, clean air back into the atmosphere. Cool. And what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to try to, you know, move into like wind or uh solar within the same company within the next 10 years but me being a planner i just want to you know have the worst case scenario mm-hmm. what town do you live in i live in a uh, craig colorado it's a uh, northwest uh right by wyoming and right by uh utah so fairly rural yes very yeah okay. we're uh we're farmers and uh coal county gotcha okay and yeah. with the coal plant shutting down, real estate in that area being the primary employer, real estate in that area is going to struggle. Exactly. Yeah, because it's a small town and the and the, the plant's closing, like a, like something exactly. out of a movie or something. Okay. So, um, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you don't buy real estate there. I agree with you. Um, yes, no. I would load my Roth IRAs, my 401ks maxed out. I also would set some okay. money aside that's not in 401ks or Roth IRAs, it's just in good mutual funds for two things uh, or three things. Uh, One is for you to retool if you need to take some classes uh, or whatever in order for you to have the money to move and maybe buy a home, number two. Uh, And then number three, you could use that money to start a business in 10 years. You might decide not to wait on them to close. You might decide to leave earlier. Right, exactly. And my uh my Roth IRA is in uh mutual funds. Yeah, um, I'd put all of it in mutual funds, but I, I okay. want you to have some that's not in IRAs for your okay. for for your move, for your reset okay. in your life, you, your education, for your uh maybe start a business thing. So and, and to buy okay. a house when you do move. And I'm gonna get out of there sooner rather than later. I don't want right. and, and this, was, this plane. They've announced the plane is going down. I don't really want to exactly. ride it all the way to the ground. Exactly. Yeah. I was, uh, since I made good money, I was going to see if I could just, you know, at least set myself up well for my next job and, you know, have some decent retirement by then. Yeah. But also, I mean, what, what would be wrong with making more money three years from now in a different career and leaving? Right, you're exactly right. Yes, you don't have to sit. You don't have to make less money when you leave. If you think this through, you've got a little time. There's no panic here, so you can sit here and dream and say, "Gosh, on my second act, when the curtain comes up again, after the first act is closed, but the second act, I might want to make two hundred a year, and I might want to be in. uh, I don't care what you want to be. You just decide and then figure out what you need to do to go be one of those." and to create a different set of opportunities or a different set of things and, and then decide where you want to live in that process. Uh, it might be that you stay in energy. You may want to completely back up and whiteboard your life and just say, where do I go from here? Hey, it's a, it's a pretty cool opportunity you got. Hey, thanks for the call.